Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. Hope you're all doing okay and have had a good week. Um, happy Sunday, I'm recording this on Sunday and it's a very sunny Sunday here today, which is lovely. Um, right, so I have got a couple of hauls to show you and I'm gonna show you a couple of completed projects as well. Um, Cause yeah, I thought I'll just do it all in one video today cause there's not too much occurring. Um, and yeah, show me what show you what has arrived. So, um, first item that I'll show you, it's not that exciting. Um, but if you saw my Marauders map video, all my yarn has arrived from War Warehouse because I have already ordered it in anticipation in house colours to do the back. So I am planning on just doing a plain back with these colours. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do rows or whether I'm just gonna do four blocks of the colours to keep it nice and simple. Um, but I have ordered 12 balls altogether because I used 13 for the burgundy and the cream, but I had leftovers of each. So I'm assuming that three balls in each colour by just doing straight lines back and forth um, should be sufficient. We'll see, we'll see what happens, but that's for a project for another time and one to just sit and do mindlessly. So um, yeah, because then what I'll do is I'll attach this back piece to the front piece to hide all the ends um, and crochet through them together all the way around. And yeah, that, that is my plan. So I have my Starcraft Aaron ready to go. I don't know why I ordered it straight away. I think because I thought if I ever fancy just starting it um, and just doing something mindless, then I can do it um, and I've got the stuff here to do it so that was uh, delivery number one delivery number two there's only two deliveries this week and um, my little box of crochet finally arrived so I did have to contact Justine because everybody's UK and international parcels had gone out um, and we thought it was just you know you should get a Royal Mail tracking etc when it's on its way I still didn't get a Royal Mail tracking so I don't quite know what's going on there but when she looked into it for some reason, I was the only one this happened to. My account said I ordered two boxes for December and nothing for January. Um, even though I pay January payment came out, I think it was because December you paid straight away and then the January box payment came out like two days later. Um, and it was all very new website. So um, the tech team, <coughs> excuse me, have apparently looked into it and have confirmed it's not gonna happen for February's box. Um, so hopefully not. So it's finally here. So. Um, this is probably a late spoiler, so if anybody doesn't have theirs already, they're probably international. But <laughs> unlike me, I was the last one to get it. So I'll show you what's inside anyway. For those of you who don't get a little box of crochet, you can see. So I have already opened it, but it comes stuck together with tissue paper. So inside we have um, a carry-on crocheting little postcard there, um, which is nice. And these are the colour themes of the box. We have a little carry on crocheting little notebook that comes with it. Just a plain notebook, but you know, who doesn't love a bit of stationery? And it's in the matching theme as well to the box. And our pattern is going to be a bobble hat by Greta Tulna. So that is our pattern. So that pattern comes in kind of a similar little booklet as the notebook. Um, so yeah, this is, um, you get your, a felt ball with a needle for sewing, your pattern book, note card, postcard. We've got a little tag in here to say handmade, um, crochet hook, the balls of yarn, stitch marker. Um, yeah, so we've got all the patterns, got all colour pictures all the way through, step by step. I think this is to make it look, um... I can't think of the word, cable, cable knit almost, like cable, like knitting, if that makes sense. Um, I could be talking rubbish, but that is our pattern. Then we have our five and a half mil uh, pony grip hook. I'm glad it's not just the metal ones. I can't stand the ones that are just metal um, and don't have like an ergonomic handle because I find them too difficult to, your hand, hand can't grip that sort of tightly. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's good. It's got an easy grip handle. My felt ball, um, the needle unfortunately does fall out and Justine has warned about this because sometimes it can end up in the um, 
balls of yarn. So what I've done is um, we got a little gift tin with this um, this month's box, um, and it's by Emma Ball, um, and it's just a slide top tin. It's very tight, so it's good; it doesn't come off. So inside there is where we have our little stitch marker, which I will hold up for you. Let it focus if it can. There is our little stitch marker. And then we've also got our handmade, this isn't real leather, this is like PU, vegany, fakey, handmade so that you can fold that and put that on the brim of your hat. But I've also put inside the tin, if you can see, you can't see, my needle. So I've just tucked that in there so it's out of the way so I don't stab myself on it later. I'll put the lid back on this tin. And then our colours of yarn for this month are matching, obviously, the colour theme that we've got on the notebook. So this yarn is called Yarn and Colours. It's very soft. It is a 50 gram ball, 75% uh, cotton, 25% acrylic, which I like that it's so soft because itchy warm me, itchy yarn. Um, it says three to three and a half mil, uh, I think that's needles. It's a four weight, oh no, three and a half mil crochet hook. Um, and we've got, so this is color 70, 70 petroleum, that blue. Then we have this one, which is raspberry. And, that one. and then we've got this final one, which is peony leaf. So it's called Yarn and Colours Charming. It's something I've never heard of before and suggest, by the way, they sell, spell colours, um, a US brand. Uh, I'm not averse to US brands, just one I've never come across before. I'm just having a look to see what it says, but can't tell. No, it's got a .com website, but then so some UK ones have .com. But those are our colourways. So I really like those colourways. So we've got 150 grams of yarn in there to make our hat. Um, I'm assuming it, you can make the pom-pom or it tells you how to make the pom-pom out of the yarn because there's no pom-pom in here. Yeah, it must be. Colour, brim. Oh yeah, make the pom-pom. Making the pom-pom at the end in whichever colour you fancy. I suppose that's a good idea because you might want a different colour depending on which you favour. I've got a pom-pom maker. This says to use sort of cardboard, but, which you can do if you don't have a pom-pom maker. But... They were a valuable investment. I think mine were clover, I feel. Um, yeah, really good investment. You got a set of three. So that is my little box of crochet that has now finally arrived with me um, after that little mishap there with the billing. Um, so that's good, I'm pleased with that. So I do need to get cracking because I've still got the December box because obviously it arrived so close to Christmas and I was doing Advent, etc. cetera. Um, so I've still got that to make, so. I need to get cracking on these boxes. So that's a project for me. Um, haven't got my Spectrum Fibre yet because Bryony was poorly with COVID still. Um, February has gone through, the payment was processed. So I'll touch base with Bryony and, and see when I can go and collect that um, for January, uh, whenever she's ready and feeling well enough. Um, but that's about it, I can't think. Um, I mean, I'll probably be due um, my woolly mama's dream collage i can't remember the name of it cloud collage go back to my previous video i remember but that's probably going to be due soon i know it was very early in january i received that one so hopefully it might get february's this week if we're lucky um but that's it for hauls nothing on really on order I'm not waiting for anything um yeah there you go trying to be good trying to use up stash and on that note um i have made well i'll start with We'll follow on from where I was last week. So I made the pink um, Enid Snood from the Netflix series Wednesday. And now I have successfully finished my black Wednesday one. Um, so it possibly will look a bit boring to you because it's just plain black and it's all trebles. Um, I did find a nice new way, um, a video online, of how to, instead of doing chain three when you're doing trebles at the end of a row, and then going through just to sort of tidy it up a little bit and it does give like a i don't know if you can see that sort of diagonal line starting up here and going down that's where i've sort of done that new technique and actually 
I, it's much tidier. You don't get sort of weird gappy bits. Um, I really like that, and I quite like the diagonal line because it sort of shows you where the where the join is, but um, not too obvious away. So I made this one slightly, a chain slightly less. So I did 140 instead of 160, just because the uni one was quite large. So I'll show you this one on. So obviously that's it. The length of it just goes off camera there. It's not as long as the, the pink one. And actually I think I prefer this. So there we go. There is my Wednesday snood in black. So it is just like a big cowl that's doubled up basically and you just sort of double it round and then you keeps you warm. Um, but yeah, so I've completed both of those now. I've still got some pink yarn left over and some of this black. Um, so I think I will make another one of each. Um, I think I might make a smaller Enid one for me. Um, slightly shorter, excuse the hair. Slightly shorter, matching this sort of design in size. Um, and I should just about have enough yarn. I was weighing it the other day just to see. Because um, I, I liked the stripe pattern that I've got from the... Show you. I keep pointing off camera because it's over there. I like the stripe pattern that I picked here for the Enid one. Um, so I'll try and mirror the same pattern um, and just make it slightly shorter. So there we go. Enid and Wednesday snoods. Done. Um, I forgot last time to tag the lady on Etsy that actually made the snoods in real life for the programme. So I promise I will do that this week because obviously it isn't her pattern. She makes them. We've all been inspired by her make. So I want to make sure I, I tag that so you can go and have a look at her on Etsy. Um, she's, I'm sure it's Romania she's based in. So that was that. That only took me a couple of days to do because it was easy travels all the way around. And then last night, because um, I've, I've been showing the, the ladies at work my creations, um, and I gave one of the ladies who I'm friends with her birthday present was um, a uh, hot water bottle cover was part of her present. So the other two girls wanted hot water bottle covers as well. So I have done one. So there is one. This is um, a mix match of some minis that I've put together. Um, so it's just sort of colour changing and then matched on the back. Something a bit different and a bit colourful there. Um, so yeah, so that's one of them done with the hot water bottle inside. Um, and I just need to make the second one. So this one ended up a bit looser than the others I've done before. But to be fair, you need a bit of room for the hot water bottle to be filled. So um, that's not a bad thing. It needs the space to grow. Um, so yeah, that's that one done. So now I need to make another one. Um, and I've got some neon colours that I want to use for that one. So I'm going to um, cake those up and ball those up to use. But that's it. I mean, apart from making another hot water bottle cover, which I need to do, which I probably will start today because I did all of this in one day yesterday. Um, I probably won't today because I started a bit earlier yesterday. But um, yeah, um, I need to pick my next project. So it might be another flower monster. I've still got those left from Flora Society um, or one of these little box of crochets. So, yeah. There you go. That's it for me this week. I mean, I have been busy with crochet, with the snoods and stuff, but um, I need a proper proper project, if that makes sense, to get, get my hands on. Um, but I've got plenty to be getting on with, so I need to just crack on and do it. Um, but yeah, my plan is, so um, work-wise, I am going to be starting to do uh, a slightly different shift pattern, which is nice. I'm going to have every Friday off. So my plan is to try and fill that with nice creative things on a Friday because it's time for me. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end up trying to do some more crochet, some slightly other bits and bobs. I've seen sort of a pottery kit I would like to buy online and try. Um, so if I get that, I might show you that. I know this is my sort of predominantly crochet because that's all I talk about. Um, but yeah, just to show you something else. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll start to use up a lot more of my stash and be a bit more organised. Famous last words. Right, I will leave you to it and stop waffling. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a rest of a wonderful rest of your weekend. Um, and I will hopefully see you next time. Take care. Bye.